welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering and Programming. In today's episode, I'll be creating two functions, one which will take a string and, and change that string into a base64 string, and one which will take that exact same base64 string and change it into a normal readable string. Let's go ahead and fill in these functions. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the return word. I only created that so we can stop getting errors. And let's go ahead and create an object and call the object base64 encoded. Inside of that, we're going to be asking uh, for the parameter. And we're going to say data. And I'll explain everything in a second using string. Next, we're going to say string dot encoding dot utf8. And we're going to force unwrap this. And we're going to call for this function. So now all we're doing is we're going to be taking the word that the user is going to pass as an argument. We're going to be changing that word into a base64 encoded string. And we're going to be saving that word into an object called base64 encoded. Next, all we need to do is simply return the object. So we're going to say return base64 encoded. Now let's go ahead and test if our function here works. And I'm simply going to call the function. So I'm going to say print to base64 and let's say I want to change my name into a base64 string so I'm going to run this and you will realize we're receiving a base64 uh, representation of my name David Bullis. Next let's see how we can actually um, do the same thing except this time we're doing the opposite thing so we're taking this I'm going to copy this we're going to be taking that string and changing it into a normal readable string. Let's go ahead and create an object which we'll be storing that form. So we're going to say let base64 decoded equal to data. And then I'm going to say base64 encoded. And inside of here, I'm going to put word, which is our parameter for this function as well. And then remember to force and wrap, unwrap it. After that, let's go ahead and create the decoded object and we're going to say let decoded string equal to string same thing again data base64 decoded encoding dot utf8 and again we're going to force unwrap this all we need to do next is simply return that. So I'm just going to remove all this empty space and I'm going to be returning the decoded, sorry for that, decoded string that we created over here. So now all what's, what we're doing is we're simply creating an object and then we're creating another obje object which we will be changing that base64 string into a normal string with the encoding of UTF-8 which is what humans can read, which is like a normal string like David or anything like that. So now, now let's go ahead and actually test our function to see if it's working. Let's go ahead and print it, just like we did with the other one. And we're going to say print from base64. And remember, we have to copy this one and we're simply going to be pasting it here. And give it a second. There we go. So we created a function which takes in our base64 string and changes it into a normal readable string. Now, I just want to warn you that if you actually try to pass anything other than a base64 string, so let's say something like that, and run this, you're actually going to get an error by Swift, and it's going to be a fatal error, I think. Yep, a fatal error. It's going to say unexpectedly found nil. And that's because if you pass anything else other than um, a base64 string, Swift is going to see it as a new because we told it that we're only going to be receiving a base64 string. Now, uh, just for you know some customization, I want to be able to use this function to pass in um, a string that we can use in this function. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say let the word. I'm going to say equal to to base64. Inside of here, I'm going to say, um, so let's change it. Let's say um, a dog or something, <laughs> something like that. And inside of here, all I'm going to be doing is simply passing the 
object we just created, so I'm going to be saying the word. Let's go ahead and call in our first function as well. So let's go ahead and say to base64. And inside of here, I'm going to be putting um, let's go ahead and put the word as well. So now if you run this, you realize that we get first we're getting our base64 encoded object and second we're getting our base64 decoded object which is what we have and all you need to do to change this is simply come here now and change it to anything else so we can say i am nine years old for example let's run this and you'll see that it works you get a base64 decoded string followed by the normal utf8 um, decoded string so this was actually for the episode. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm sure this this is something that you can definitely um, use in your application, especially with networks and uh, connecting to servers and so on. Um, have a good day and please don't forget to like and subscribe for this channel. Have a good day.